Hi there. In this video, we're going to be talking about stereo RCA cables and what my opinion is of the best ones to get for the money. And also just talking a little bit about my favorite ones and stuff like that. I'll start out by saying that I'm really under the impression and opinion that you don't need to spend a lot of money on RCA cables because there's going to be very little difference in sound heard uh, between cheap ones and expensive ones. The main difference with expensive ones is that they're going to look better and they may have better connectors on them and stuff like that but mainly it's for looks so people who spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on an rca interconnect cable especially on a short distance like three feet or whatever aren't going to hear any difference it's all going to be a placebo effect because they spent more money on the cable um, they're able to sort of convince themselves in their own mind that it sounds better but really it's just uh, an expensive cable that looks nice but doesn't really necessarily perform any better, better, especially at a short distance. So for short distances, a lot of people these days are using this cable here. This is a three foot RCA stereo cable by Monoprice. It's from their premium brand or premium line. And it's only a couple of dollars for one of these cables. And it performs perfectly well, um, you know, at short distances. And it's a pretty good bang for the buck. Now these are mass produced cables made in China, you know, at big factories and stuff like that. So they're really nothing special, but for the price, uh, they're pretty good. Um, it seems to have this gold-plated connector here and all that kind of stuff. Now, I was using these for a while, and they were okay, but one thing I don't like about them is the connectors tend to be pretty tight. So when you put them on and take them off of the uh, equipment, they're really hard to take on and off, and sometimes you feel like you're pulling the jack off with it because it's so, so tight. Um, so... That's not a plus with the build quality of these and, and the tolerances or whatever, the manufacturing tolerances. But, you know, if you're just installing it and you're leaving it there and you're not having to take it on and off that much, it's not a big deal. And that was the case for me. However, I did get annoyed every time I did want to move my equipment around or install a new piece of equipment or whatever. Anytime I had to take it off, it's just a real annoyance to, you know, reach in the back of my system and pull this off, pull one of these off, and it was just really tight and hard to get off, and sometimes I thought I was gonna break my equipment, it was that tight. So that's one negative about the Monoprice cables, but in general, for the price of only a couple of dollars for one of these, uh, you know, they're pretty good cables. For the They come in all different lengths and stuff like that too. This is a three footer, but you know, you can get them in um, all different lengths. And you know, for the price, they're uh, pretty decent. Now, if you wanna step up, and go with something a little bit better, I would recommend this cable in the middle. This is by Blue Jeans Cable, and it's their LC1 stereo audio, you know, RCA interconnect cable. And as you can see, it's just got a much higher quality connector. These connectors uh, are really nice in terms of putting them on and taking them off your equipment. They just sort of click on and uh, click off very easily. Just much more of a professional quality connectors and just higher quality. Also, these are not as mass produced these are made in the usa from usa cabling as well made by belden and they're also assembled in the usa you know in seattle washington by blue jeans cables themselves and uh, i'll link to some articles that blue jeans cables has posted but they're one of the few companies few cable companies that i really trust because they've done a lot of research and testing of cables and they've developed this particular cable the lc1 you know stereo rca cable based on a lot of their findings. And basically what it comes down to is in an RCA cable, you don't want just a normal 75 ohm RCA cable for the best performance. Um, you want a cable that has uh, more shielding and noise rejection characteristics. So this is a custom cable that they have developed um, that actually gives you a better performance in, ter in terms of rejecting EMI and RFI you know, interference. Because uh, you know if you get interference from power lines that are around your equipment and stuff like that, like power, you know, power cables and stuff, equipment cables, that can lead to um, buzzing or humming sounds. So this cable is custom made and designed by Blue Jeans Cable uh, to have lower capacitance than almost any other RCA cables out there. Even, even super expensive $2,500 ones don't perform as well as these in terms of capacitance. And this means that your high frequencies will not be hampered as much with these cables as with other cables. Now, whether in practice you notice that or not uh, is another story, but it's just something to mention. Now, if you want. 
if you want to read more about it, I'll link to the articles that Blue Jeans Cable has uh, published about you know the development of uh, these cables, and you can kind of read more about it. It's sort of interesting technical reading if you're interested. So this is my favorite RCA cable, and it has been for a number of years. I've not been disappointed with it at all. And I have to say, when switching from the Monoprice cable to this cable, I did notice a bit of uh, you know slight difference in the in the sound, um, especially in vocals. Just the nuances and the subtleties, I noticed a little bit more clear clarity in the vocals. But again, you know that even could be a placebo effect. Just my mind telling me that oh, you've got a new cable, and so you know it sounds different. Again, mostly in practice at short lengths, you're not really going to notice much difference. Blue Jeans Cable makes these totally custom so you can order them at any length that you want and uh, this one happens to be a six and a half footer but I also have three footers installed in my system as well one thing to note about these in terms of a negative is that the connector is pretty long so if you have the back of your equipment right up against the wall these may not work for you um, because they stick out from the equipment you know a good I don't know maybe two inches or so something like that um, so that's one slight negative with these but they're very high quality cables and I'm very impressed with them. And again, the build quality, especially in the connectors are very, very nice. So I've got a bunch of three footers on these uh, in my system, you know, going from my DAC to my amp and stuff like that. And again, you know, at that length, there's probably not gonna be much uh, sound quality difference between three foot blue jeans cables and three foot monoprice cables. I just really like the connectors of these and the looks of these and the build quality of these. I mean, it's just a real high quality cable. And so I'm pretty impressed with them. Uh, and I feel like I can really trust these cables for many, many years. And they just really instill a sense of quality and confidence when I'm using them. So uh, these are my favorite cables for the money. And I don't think that you need to go any higher than Blue Jeans cable uh, at all. Because like I said, these perform in terms of the specs, better than some super expensive $100 cables or even thousands of dollar cables. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, now the one you're looking at here, this particular one has what they call the tech flex around it, which is just sort of a, I guess it's sort of a nylon type uh, shielding around the two cables, but that's optional. You don't have to get it with that. Uh, if you don't order it with that, it'll just be two raw cables just like this. Now, Blue Jeans Cable also contracts with uh, some manufacturers in China, maybe the same ones that Monoprice does, to make a budget cable that kind of competes with the Monoprice cable. So this is a three-foot Tartan cable, and Tartan is Blue Jeans Cable's, you know, budget brand, and it's pretty equivalent to the Monoprice one, and looks fairly similar. The one difference between these is that the wire is slightly more flexible, which is nicer uh, in many, you know, installations. But for all I know, these tartan cables are probably made in by the same people in the very same factory as the monoprice cable. So there's not much difference between the two. And these also have tight connectors too. Like when you pull them on and off of your equipment, it tends to be you know really tight. So that is certainly an option for you if you want something cheaper, but you don't want to go monoprice. You can buy these tartan cables on Amazon and tartan cable is owned by Blue Jeans Cable. However, don't get confused because even though these are owned by Blue Jeans Cable, this cable is not the same as the Blue Jeans Cable LC1. The Blue Jeans Cable LC1 is a custom design cable rather than just a normal mass produced cable. So to sum up, you really don't have to spend a lot of money on RCA stereo cables. This particular cable here was I think under $40 or maybe just slightly over $40. And if you get it in a shorter length, like a three foot length, it's gonna be less. And I really don't think you need to spend much more than that. The technical specifications of this cable are such that it is going to perform better than the vast majority, if not all, of the other RCA cables available out there, even in the hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollar range. And these are hand built in America using American wire. And the build quality is just excellent on these, as is the look. So I hope this video was helpful, and this has just basically been some of my miscellaneous thoughts on RCA stereo interconnect cables. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.